how long has it been? It's been a while. It's been a while. I don't oh, know. I guess it's been a long <laughs> we're long we're long in time, a very yes. songy, songy style, songy mood. It's today, Andrew's turn. Think. We're trying to get soul. We have five more soul. I think is how the rules work, right? Yes. Oh wow. Options are yep. Charming village, an idyllic little village where absolutely no atrocities ever take place. Hmm. Ever in picnic the spot. It's a beautiful day to eat outside. And do atrocities outside. I mean, charming, I mean, Charming Village is obviously a bad choice, given that it has a uh, losing soul and losing money. So I'm yeah. going to go on yeah. the assumption it's a cult. And then the... Uh, <laughs> and then you can say mean things to them in game profiling. Soul. That's not uh, profiling. No, it's not. The only people who have a That's... freaking flower, like bush that you dance around at a cult yeah. no one just has that's that, that in their times square that's that movie like, with the thing with the, where the bear and the sex <laughs> look the only reason that you're thinking of sweet home alabama no <laughs> annihilation <laughs> the, uh, yes uh, annihilation the, the movie with the bear and the sex no not not <laughs> annihilation the other one that has a similar sounding name that isn't revenant uh, winnie the pooh <laughs> oh is it revenant there are you know the one with know, the, does, the revenant have, does revenant have any sex in it it's something about summer, what? like no, midsummer. I have not, yeah, I have not yeah, seen midsummer. midsummer. Yeah, that's the one. I just <laughs> my opening <laughs> experience at, at Midwest Fur Fest was to watch Hereditary. Oh, Hereditary is. We were waiting. Oh, we were God. waiting for the line to open up for getting badges. So we watched Hereditary on TV. That's how I started the Midwest oh. Fur Fest in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you had seen it though know before. What that show is. No, you recommended it. I had you never hadn't? seen Hereditary before. <laughs> I watched what, it because it, you said it. It was and a I, lot. It, I didn't. <laughs> I, yeah, I liked it, but I didn't. So anyway, you said you're going to the picnic spot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Doody doo, driving carelessly, knowing nothing bad will happen. Okay. Oh, oh no, something bad mark? has happened. He's always seem. Warning! Seemed to you're about to activate a plot line. <gasps> For a yes. plot line to appear, you first need to hoard enough of a resource. They only appear if you've been on the road trip for enough weeks. First, what? a road event will simply what? let you decide if you want to engage with the plot line or not. Your choice. If you choose to take on the plot line, you'll see three special road events. Two are common exchange events. The, the last one is an incremental event. What the fuck is that, you may be asking? I'll tell you. <laughs> an incremental you event has three stages. In each stage, you this face two mechanic? options. Here, each yeah. option is tied to one of your resources. You must choose the option tied to your highest resource uh, of the two. Uh, like in the olden days. Hold on, hold on. What's up? Yeah, it, you it keep going. Like I, I'm days. keeping a mental image of what our resources are. Okay. <laughs> That's not what hold on means. If you choose wrong, <laughs> you'll fail. Right. The incremental event will end and the plot line will be canceled. They do exist. Canceled. If you succeed at three stages, <laughs> you'll unlock a new layer for the destination tied to the plot line. But remember, you only see that awesome layer if you reach the destination. Godspeed. Ten blood and bury hello. Oh uh, <laughs> What the fuck? Oh. Are we about to have a JoJo fight? What somebody is going on? Somebody here? buys specialty underwear. Hey yeah, uh, you mm -hmm. just reached a high amount of soul. Good for you. Does that mean you're aiming for the soul-based destination? How if did so, you know? Obviously. There's a wacky adventure that you could unlock a that could unlock a layer for that destination. Want to go for it? Yay! Why is he making a kissy face? I don't. Uh, really don't say like nay that. with an exclamation yeah? mark. Don't say nay with an exclamation mark. That's incorrect. I assume he everyone wants to do yes. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. Time? Yeah. Let's do yes. Great. The adventure will be waiting for you on the road. Hopefully it ends this week. <laughs> Sorry for breaking the fourth wall. See ya. So I'm assuming the assumption or the I'm assuming what this means is that you can obviously date the narrator now. So that's I think you date the narrator in the first that's what game, honestly. I don't think that's what Would it is. Would you? I think it's a late unlock, yeah. Like the oh, shopkeeper. Alright, well. I think the plotline is just people did say that we had plot lines, right? Which is, I don't remember you mentioning it, Keith. Or no, I read in a comment uh, to, to, to a previous I'll episode where comments are always wrong. Yeah, they no, always lie to us. Like, like when they said well, they this... said to, to go date the shopkeeper starting in like episode two, when it's literally oh. impossible. They are the mean people. 
No, but you mentioned, because in a previous episode, Keith, you mentioned that uh, you were talking about how this game is different and there's no plot line, so it's more based on like the individual shenanigans yeah. of each scene. And then people in the comments were saying, oh no, there's plot lines. It's Cause just Because your number one goal in the first two games is, is to try to trigger secret endings by causing like three part secrets. events to, to happen. And this game just mm -hmm. has never had one so far. And here we go. Yeah, it looks like their way of getting around it is to have it happen in between the destinations as little road things. Mm. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and the ants are eagerly anticipating eating their scraps. <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect day for All a right. picnic. You've gained your picnic basket and your checkered blanket. All that remains is deciding what to do now that you're here. Have a nice so picnic. Guess, Crash right. other picnics. Play fetch. I guess play fetch, since that is what it was insinuating, is that we should do the incremental? Hmm? Or is no. it saying that the incremental no, he was, is going to He's saying that we're going to have road events. The... Yeah. So there will be... So we got a road event letting us know there are going to be road events? Well, yeah, we got a road event gonna... that lets us opt into starting the storyline. And now we're going to get road events about it. This is still this is just the normal destination. They didn't change the options. Uh, and you don't have gotcha, to like, memorize gotcha. so a sequence gonna... that you have to do here or anything to activate it or anything. Uh, okay, so then let's have a nice picnic. Because nice. You've got the picnic basket of food, you got the nice day, and you got the friends to enjoy it with. You just need to decide where to spre uh, spread your checkered blanket. Let's do it! If I say it like that, it sounds don't like worry, a guys. euphemism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't worry, guys. I know how to find the perfect picnic spot. We learned all about this in Monster Scouts. The first step is to make sure your spot has nobody else's pee on it, because it's rude to oh. picnic on a spot someone else already claimed. The perfect picnic is also the best enjoyed with three to six friends. Good thing we're somewhere in that number. <laughs> Let's look for a place on a high hill with good air. I'll lick my finger to test the wind while we walk. I've seen people do it in movies. <laughs> Whatever you say, bud. I'll just follow you around until you find a place we can sit. You indulge Scott in his pic picnic spot hunting tactics. He finally finds a patch of grass deemed suitable, and you dig into sandwiches and potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, um... It's the bear, the just like you said. Is it the actual bear or is it the chameleon? Uh, that's probably <laughs> the bear. That's probably the bear. <laughs> That'll work. By the chameleon's bad disguises. Mm -hmm. the bear Fair is enough. yoked. Oh no! I forgot the most important step of finding a picnic spot. Bear proofing the surrounding area. <laughs> oh my god. What? It's got a gun now. Oh no! Oh, that wait, bear's got a got gun. A gun. A... And a, 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 like a beanie or whatever that is. Ski mask. Uh, balaclava? Mask, yeah. Balaclava. Yeah. yeah, it's a balaclava. Wow. I get that word confused with baklava all the time. Yeah, the that dessert. Dare you. Mm -hmm. How dare you. Yeah, it's good to wear food on your face. People yeah, will never know it it's you. <laughs> Whoa, is that a bear with a gun? That's my second favorite excuse for how I... Uh, I yes, excuse oh, is the she... word. Weird. She specifically okay. says, excuse this time. <laughs> that's that's an interesting term. Anyway, that's hmm. my second favorite excuse for how I died. That was the third time I pretended to die. <laughs> oh, no. This bear isn't just stealing the picnic. It's robbing the picnic. This is a stick up. You can have the picnic, Mr. Bear. We don't want any trouble. Uh... The it's bear more doesn't seem bear. sold on those terms. He gestures the gun at Polly's bottle of honey mead. No way, boo. Mm. What? You want to steal my booze, too? No way, Winnie the party pooper. Over <laughs> Andrew's dead body. <laughs> or should I say over... <laughs> dead body. You're not willing to die for mead. Intercede and save the day before this bear lights you all up. At least one of you can't Nine. die. Maybe none of you can die. I don't know. If, I think, Scott, you need silver. The bear's behavior is probably due to nurture, not nature. I'll try to learn what circumstances brought it to a life of crime and help them find a place of empathy. That probably gives you soul. 
Get this bear, the only ah. thing bears covet more than delicious picnic. A taxi license. Just imagine it. A bear driving a taxi. Priceless. Is that a reference? Yeah, let's go that with feels with like option. a reference. Just... It's stupid. Let's go with option one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it... <laughs> Using your powers of empathy, you appeal to the bear's in emotional turmoil. You tell him that you get it. You really do. He may want this picnic, but he doesn't need it. These sandwiches and sodas won't bury his inner pain. But you can give this bear what he really needs. A bear hug. Aww. Uh. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> wait, we're gonna get a picture. Uh, contemplative roar? <laughs> contemplative we're gonna get a picture. Roar. The bear remembers being the runt of the family, neglected by his emotional, emotionally distant bear dad, like most dads, for being scrawny and weak. <laughs> He reflects on trying and yeah. failing to find a job. Nobody's hiring bears these days. Twinks only. He's struggling to make ends meet. His bear wife berates him for being unable to provide for their cubs. He can barely, he can barely afford the rent of their cave. Damn forest ha, gentrification. <laughs> <laughs> he wandered the forest after a particularly nasty marital dispute. He was hungry, frustrated, filled with rage in an unfair world. The what is a remembers. marital dis What is a marital uh, dispute? Is it just a uh, dispute argument. between yelling? Yeah. yeah. But is it conflict in a marriage? But it is specifically related to the marriage or just any time two well, married people it, you, or, it's just you're I'm married yeah. basically. It's, yeah, you're very often <laughs> that in in when there's arguments with strangers, you can usually just walk away from it. Like no one's going to force you to engage <laughs> yeah, in the argument point. with a stranger, but a marital dispute, you can't really just walk away from you're kind of stuck no with this away, person yeah. so you do have to like argue it out at some point and then you can walk away and you're gonna right. have to sleep somewhere nearby as well to each other so yeah yep. makes sense whether you like it or not so we're balancing everyone because everyone's immediately a different volume there we go is it me mm. it's me isn't it's all it all of you <laughs> okay yay the less bad then. volume the bear uh, remembers passing up the bear remembers a passing uh, uh Remembers passing a box of firearms with free guns for bears written on the side. He knew what he had to do. A tear rolls down oh, the yeah, bear's snout those. as you hold him. He pats you on the back and walks back into the forest for some much needed introspection time. Lame. Jacking it. So you solve <laughs> the bear's problems with compassion and understanding? Lame. I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate you saving my mead. Oh, and Scott's life too. But that was objectively the least interesting way you could have gotten that gun out of our faces. Sheesh, a simple thanks, Andrew, wouldn't go amiss here. You know, in your heart, you did the... You know in your heart you did the right thing. And despite losing three hype, you gained three soul for helping the bear. Yay! Really hope that this oh, hello, RV. Oh, right, we're losing money and gaining Wait, magic every turn. That's terrible. Uh, no, it's yeah, not terrible. It's RV's amazing. Doing to us. It's you bad are, if our money well gets uh, to zero, but so far not on the risk of doing that. I will date a Ravi very yeah. well. Wait, I is hope it what? me or is it Bird? I, uh, it's Colonel. Uh, right. me, I hope the storyline ends before the next week does, because we're about to win. Somebody says yeah. spelunking? Be sure to bring your spelunk crown. What? Carnival. Spelunking. Witness Marvel's unspeakable. King. Spelunking. Uh, King. Spilling I will go to the caves and queens of promise. Oh, that's a good point. I like that. Man, it'd be great if something random happened right now. <laughs> what? Why is the car stopped? You're driving Me. along like a normal. <laughs> like, a like a normal? <laughs> what? Like the hell? Driving along like a normie. That snuck in. <laughs> wow. When you hear an inexplicable guitar riff, got to a good start. Then there's suddenly a blue anteater in your car. He's hey. awesome, and he plays Guitar Hero. <laughs> he plays Guitar Hero. <laughs> hey. hey, it's me, Tobular Eddie, here to remind you that cool kids with a Z say no to gambling. Whoa! Whoa! Where did you come from, bro? You're gonna tell me that's an anteater? <laughs> okay. That that's is an anteater. A blue anteater. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, no. What? Don't think about it. What? Why would it? What? 
a, that looks like an anteater, just not on it all is. fours. No, that's a kangaroo like, with you're a just long used to seeing... <laughs> the Kangaroos don't have long, no. long ears like that. Yes, they do. What? Yeah. Yes, they do. <laughs> they do? <laughs> What do you think? That's yeah, you're right, ears Andrew. They like... do normally just walk around on Rab... all fours, but rabbits have long ears. What is that? It's just that once you draw Ka kangaroos do not on... have ears that big. Once you draw an anthro kangaroo, an anthro anteater, it just looks like a kangaroo with a tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fear. <laughs> yeah, I mean like the a... ears are a little weird, but it doesn't fit anything really except for a rabbit. It's more rabbit ears than it's a beautiful kangaroo or anteater. It's a beautiful being, but... is what it is. I'm joking. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay. It's too late to talk us out of gambling, Eddie. We're on our way to the city of Vice to gamble right now. We're gonna do it. Bummer. Looks like you'll never be the cool kids with a Z. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? It's okay, though. I'm headed to the City of Vice, too, and I'd bet everything I own that I can talk you out of gambling when we get there. How did he manage to have cleavage? Uh, he's what? got pecs. <laughs> it's just the way that he's shaped. I'm like, how does he even have a chest, really? It's, well, if you see I mean, the it's kangaroo, already ripped. It's already concerning that he has, like, no hair on him at all. Which is definitely no, not what it's Or are you interpreting like, him as being a, like a, a slime anti yeah. I He yeah, looks a little like slimy. He is, He's just constructed yeah, entirely out of like slick. latex. He shouldn't be that clean. Like, there <laughs> mm -hmm. has to be some. There's no hair on him at all. Like, an anteater maybe has there is. copious amounts of hair. <laughs> maybe there is. Maybe you just need to zoom in really close and it's like <laughs> little, little, you know. On the, if you on touch the plus us, side, we do make we it to not... see him. <laughs> <laughs> what? what was that? On the plus side, he may uh, he may depose us. That is a common ant eater tactic, so that would be fun to see. Mm -hmm. It mostly came out as a hand. Why are you part. going to? <laughs> but if he I did, did it right, it would have made. If, if I did it right, it would have made that like rubbing a balloon noise. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> what? Yeah. I didn't catch what you said. It's, so it's like the rubbing a balloon noise. It goes I like. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like a little car. It's just a long squeak. You can do it with your hand and your on your mouth. <laughs> no, I haven't practiced. We're just making fart noises now. Yeah, I no, know, it's yeah. a cinnamon challenge. But for, there it is. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. I was like, what sound are you trying to do yeah. here? Like <laughs> the sound that you would get from rubbing a balloon. Yeah, um, <laughs> it is kind of like that. It's hard to do little. that and not the fart <laughs> noise. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's yeah you, you have to like good. blow out of your you have to like cup your lips and then blow like air very weirdly out of it there it goes. yeah like right. that. everyone's learning new hey, skill like today <laughs> good job <laughs> why are you going to the city of vice it seems like the opposite of a place someone who hates gambling would want to go to be better than everyone <laughs> Because I'm on a mission to teach the world that gambling is bad and the city of vice by far needs that advice the most. It's also where my favorite cocaine dealer does all of his business. All good kids with a Z do coke. Huh. Are you sure about that? <laughs> good luck getting the denizens of the city of vice to give up gambling. You'd have better luck talking the merfolk into moving to the Sahara. <laughs> I know, it'll be a difficult task, but I've got a funny feeling my luck's about to turn around. Colonel, feel you're like as good as... You could... Yeah, you could do it, but you're... it's fine, it's fine. I, I could. I feel like you could get trick Miranda into going to the desert. Yeah. That would yeah. probably not yeah. be difficult. I like his if tiny were talking fucking about... mouth in the bottom left. <laughs> oh, yeah. That seems accurate. <laughs> Colonel, you're as good at giving advice as I am at radical skateboard tricks. Terrible. Can you think of a creative way to convince a bunch of gambling addicts to give up the incredible rush of gambling? I don't he know. Really it feels like he going really to... is just a remix of Poochie from The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming the... is this the beginning of the quest that yes. we need to? Yes. yes. It's a okay. more it's a morality thing. We're going to the bad place and we're going to do morals on them because we're we have because we have the morality based stat. 
and it happened mm. in between destinations. The mm. gamble to end all gambles. Get the gamblers to gamble and how long they can go without gambling. Are they gambling ah. if they gamble about not gambling? Give them mm. a baby to raise collectively. The power of responsible responsible parenting will push them in the right direction. Uh, honestly, neither of these sound like very good options. To I like the first the one. It makes a certain amount of sense, and the second one is lame, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's go the first. Also, where'd you get the baby from? That's worrying. <laughs> Just give them a baby. Uh, it's like you're supposed to give them an egg. <laughs> an egg for responsibility? That doesn't sound. Yeah, sell. give them an yeah, egg. That's that's what yeah, that's what they do in school. Yeah, that's a stupid what? like elementary school thing. The pet I've egg. Never had so that they can learn to not break the egg. Yeah. What? Well, that's, that's because you probably thing. lived in a country that gives you empathy at school. We, we have, don't. Yeah, that's, we have yeah, to teach socialize it. them. We teach you. people fascism. I pledge allegiance <laughs> to this flag. Here in Portugal, empathy is publicly owned. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. Uh, what? Is it? I'm not even sure what Colonel said. So let me break it down for you, kiddo. I'll get to the city of Vice, gather up all of the gambling addicts you can find, and I'll say, Hey, gather around everyone. Time day. I've got the newest, coolest, tubularist gambling game to play. That oh, that sounds great, say the gambling addicts. We literally cannot resist gambling on any game we can find. How do we play? Simple. It's you versus the house to gamble on how to on how long you can go without gambling. How many bets can an addict not bet if he's gambling not to gamble on the gamble? Hmm? I've got this, says one gambler. I'm going to get back into ga playing the cello. I'll join an orchestra and, and stay out of the casinos for the next 20 years. This feels like a repeat of the Try Not To Come game. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never beat me, says another gambler. I'm going to focus on my kids. I'll raise them to avoid gambling, meaning we'll all beat the house and win triple the cash. I just, I just have to find my kids first. I think I left them at the slot machine. Same person's talking. You can never tell. <laughs> uh, then that guy will find his kids. Then they'll be all... Uh, then they'll all be betting to see who goes without gambling the longest, and they'll all win by never gambling again. So, they're gambling by not gambling? How is that not just gambling? Well, it's it's not not gambling, but it's, it's still not gambling by gambling on how long you can go without gambling, which will eventually put an end to gambling. I also like to trick people into having moral choices. <laughs> I like my semantics <laughs> satiated. Uh, oh, <clears throat> all thanks to the power of gambling. You lose two mine <laughs> trying to make sense of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hype is down to five. Uh, the good oh, news is your, soul. your idea is as well intentioned as it is nonsensical, and you gain two soul. Skadoosh. See, we do. What could be inside this dank, dark cave? It looks like nostrils. Gold and jewels? An abandoned mine shaft? Dinosaur boats? An ancient civilization that's yet to be uncovered? I mean, all those things are hella unlikely. It's almost definitely just a bunch of bats and rocks in there. But you won't know that for sure until you explore the cave. What are you going to do here? Look for ore. Rescue trap people, loser. Ghost belonging. Hmm. So, tell me here, are we gaining or losing money because of Aravi? Uh, uh we she's are. She's not losing her money at all, right? She's taking her money and giving uh, us magic every turn. Yeah, she is. Yeah, we are losing money, so we do need money. Okay, let's look for ore then. Or what? Hopefully, we don't lose hype and probably lose just stamina. Time to I make mean, some money. For ore sounds hype as fuck. <laughs> you and your <laughs> friends true. go into the cave to mine for ore. After an hour we'll of walking and mining, ore. you get a decent pile of precious metals when you hear a voice cry. 
Hey, you dot gum kids, get the hell out of me, whore. <laughs> Go on, get. I've been hoarding this all for 50 years and you ain't getting none of it. <gasps> I've been hoarding R in a cave for 50 years. Are you selling it? No, I don't want money, I want ore. You can't put a price on my precious ores. Each one's perfect, priceless, and unique. Just look at my sitting ore. I can spend hours crouching uncomfortably on it. Ain't she a beaut? This one's my shitting ore. Wait, that is what yeah. he said, yes. Yeah, I shit on it. And if y'all need to go, I have a guest shitting ore cleaned up for you. And this tall drink of water is Orophilia, my ore wife. No relation to the wife I abandoned to become an ore hermit. Awesome, bro! Dang, bro. It sounds like you've got a life, got life all figured out. I'm jealous. Is there anything we can trade you for one of your best ores? Pretty please. Hmm. What's your offer? Well, uh, what do you want? Well, if I know, y'all got any suggestions? I've been in this cave so long that I ain't got my, any frame of reference for what's an ore's worth. Oh, cool. Then he'll be easy. He'll be super easy to scam. You offer to trade the weird ore collector. Long, expositive stories about your lives. You'd be giving him the next best thing to ore. Lore. No. Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, we're going to do therapy because uh, I think That's... lore is for hype. Yeah, but the bottom one is definitely going to be soul, right? But that's okay because uh... we want to complete the, the thing. You think we would lose? Yeah, I guess we no. could slow roll. You think giving bit. him therapy would make us lose soul? I, yeah, think, I, think, I think therapy would probably be more stamina, right? Or how mind. Much... Or mind. Yeah, it's either stamina or mind because, yeah. like, how much effort is it going to take to, uh, to yeah, deal with a guy who literally mind. lives... Unless we're paying mm -hmm. for it? No, because we gain money from this. Yeah, yeah, yeah we gain no, money from it, this. So. It's soul, because talking to people drains your fucking soul. No, no, no. That's, soul, that's not how, no. Soul's no. a moral thing, though. No. In this game. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a weird thing. Are you saying therapy is immoral? It's a moral question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I didn't think it through at all. Bro, with the hot takes. If, you, is, if you have therapy, you're a bad person. <laughs> No, no, the person wow. isn't no, if you bad. Give, if you you're are a therapist, therapist yes. you're a bad person. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. That checks this is, out. This is corroborated by all the movies with therapists in them. Damn. Therapy? Die hard. Uh, I don't know. Don't you need a license to do therapy on someone? Yeah, good oh. point. Maybe you could just listen to this guy for a while, offering him a sympathetic ear and... uh a shoulder to cry on. Hmm. Can I still take notes on a clip art? Sure. Nice. Cool. It's a deal. Tell us all your problems, or collector. My problems? What problems could I have when I'm surrounded by beautiful ore? Denial. He has his mouth on his the back of a head for one. There's the lack of food in here, no exposure to sunlight, not seeing another soul for 50 years. Nope, I don't give a fuck about none of that. But I guess if there's one thing that bothers me, sometimes I have nightmares that I accidentally swapped my kissing ore with my sitch. No, wait, sitting ore. What if I've been kissing this, my sitting ore all this time? That ain't what it's for. Oh. Okay, crazy theory, but I'm sensing that your ore obsession is a little unhealthy. <laughs> At least, that's what I wrote on my clipboard, right under this tic-tac-toe game I'm playing with myself. Hmm, maybe you're right. Sometimes Orphelia says I'm overly possessive. Maybe that's why I care so much about my ore. Now that I think about it, I spend more time worrying about losing my ore than actually enjoying it. Oh. No. What do I do? You could give us some of your R's. So for those attachment issues or whatever. Okay. If you think it'll help, here's Orwin, my youngest or son. Take good care of him, will ya? 
I'm gonna throw him you down. You will well. not. Oh, oh no. By mine. <laughs> you let her sell the yeah. ore for three money. It's almost enough to pay for the actual therapy you need after that convo took three mind out of you. Out of you. Mm hmm. Hello. Okay. This is these stats are like all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> we're no. gonna do fire. Yeah. We're, we're cryptic. Like, we're juggling company. hard. Like, let's get uh, what? What is? What's that middle one? Is that mind? Mind. That's yes. Mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Time to oh, mind my manners. Mind, huh? What if we get to the final boss? You mean the destination? She didn't reply. Very gasp. Nothing happened. Hmm. On a hot, sunny day like this, a lake visit is the perfect way to beat the heat. A sight to behold. It's also the perfect oh, excuse to see your hot friends in swimsuits. Not that you were fantasizing about yeah. this the whole time. Nope. Definitely not. <laughs> oh no. He's coughing. Does he have. Is, is he okay? What anyway, he what do you want to do now that you're here? <laughs> Go swimming, build sandcastles, collect sea cells. Seeing people in bathing suits isn't even an option. What the hell? What was no, all that, that, that's, 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 that? That always happens. You always engage with swimsuits. We, we should, we should and also, you don't want to see it. You don't want to do that. Cough, cough. We should build sandcastles so that we uh, can get no, mine. He was coughing. I wasn't coughing. You were, <laughs> you were not. <laughs> that's true. Boop. You're having fun building sand castles when you notice that the your sandy abodes have acquired some new tenants. Is it the same background from Monster Camp? It is. This is the lake. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those are high shorts. <laughs> hmm? Which oh, ones? Yeah. Bros, look! The hermit crabs are moving into our sand castle. Hello. Uh, Ooh, who are these? Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. We we had this guy in our car for like the last the, game. <laughs> the gargoyle yeah, yeah. has like a has a uh a sludge job. friend. Sludge friend. <laughs> yeah, the so She's it's got a like a dead seagull in a, her uh, tar hair. Yeah. Her oil yeah. sticky girl. Slick hair. She's a she's like somebody, a villain from a Captain Planet episode. Somebody yeah, in basically. The voice of she Captain has, Planet. She has a pollution monster. Yeah, she has a bendy straw sticking out of her leg. You know, the biggest contributor to climate change are indeed the oh. straws. Slime girls? Oh. She's just, no, the, yeah, she's just a sludge. I'm just going to come out she swinging also has a and say, in this, her hair. this is a D tier character. It, wow, what the fuck? Do not yeah, I mean, like this character. There's, nothing yet. there's instantly plenty of do, detail instantly there. Instantly don't like this character. There's plenty Why? of detail Why? What the hell? This character is great. Eh. <laughs> they haven't even said anything yet. I mean, they might have some banger yeah. singer. Yeah, zoomer yeah. things. Uh, Depending zoomer. on who voices her. Get ready for that zoomer humor. This is probably. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, gonna voice her. Uh, I do the. I'll, I'll I do, do her it. friend. That's dope. We have king and queen crabs now. You guys are like the king makers of the lake. Yeah. Yep. And check out the king's brother. What? And check out the king's brother sharpening that sh shell shard into a spear. I smell a regicide coming on. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Stu. What are you doing at the lake? What were you talking about? Uh, fuck. What are we doing here? Are you lifeguards? Oh, yeah, good catch. That explains these rescue floaties and this whistle. And why my swimsuit says lifeguard. And that reminds me, as the lifeguards, we got to check to make sure you, our sand castles don't have any OSHA violations. Yep, them's the rules for some reason. And I can tell you already that these castles aren't up to code at all. Moment. Bummer, dudes. We'll be back with the paperwork to condemn them. It should take five minutes to an hour, depending on if we forget what we're doing on the way. Uh-oh. 
Ugh, we gotta do something, bros. If they condemn our sandcastles, King and Queen Snippy won't have a place to call home. Oh, they're Snippy now. <laughs> There's gotta be some way to get the castles up to code before the lifeguards return. Time to save your crabs from total ocean annihilation. Ha! That, I feel like Polly's like Polly's that. outfit is really boring. Damn. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Just coming for her. <laughs> well, like next Crazy. to Scott, you're like, oh, okay, someone, someone like put some effort in here. And then Polly's like, yeah. I Scott, wore a short. Scott has a and fit. You're like, what? I'm yeah. Where Scott like, even got that? Uh oh, sounded <laughs> That's like the Aaron. Thing. I have like... news for you. If you haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott is voiced by Aaron Hansen. <laughs> yeah. You may have to replace the sand. It's just with like him. <laughs> Mostly, like, he doesn't even do a voice in this game. He just sounds like Aaron Hansen. Yeah. Yeah. You may have to replace the sand with another material. Sand isn't well known for its integrity as material. It's prone to lying and manipulation. You probably have to ditch hmm. the, the murder plaza. Chances are the murder plaza is the least safe part of the sand castle. Mm. Uh... But the murder plaza is important. Like... What stat are we losing? I, I think Mer Miranda losing, would get mad at you. I guess you get rid of the murder plaza, you lose hype? Mm, yeah. Good point. Murder is very hype. And replacing the and material... And I'm assuming the other one is like money? A... Oh, it could be money. Money? This sound, yeah. It could cost Yeah, I think it sounds like money. Material. Like, you're going to have to... Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to, like, buy fancy or material to mind. use or something. <laughs> Mind? What are you doing? Clever. What are you making no, it out of? Gaining, human flesh? Gaining, like, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna make a scorn house. Flesh castle? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. The carpet out of tongue? That'd probably be pretty the carpet good. out of tongue. Yeah, I think I'd hope this was <laughs> like money clean. because everything else is really low. It'd have to be a to uh, like a bathroom carpet though. It's oh yeah, it can't, it can't be mind because we're gaining mind. Yeah, it so could also be, be magic money. too. We may mm -hmm. maybe, maybe we'll like conjure something. We also but either way, we can, yeah, we, have even we can magic. throw. Yeah, we could throw away magic money. money. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. <laughs> you yeah, and nice. your friends spend th three money on concrete, metal scaffolding, and other construction materials to reinforce your sandcastle. We're back, back dudes, ready for us to hand down our verdict. Wait a sec, Stu. Something's different about their sandcastle. Are you admiring the marble balconies with which King Snippy can address his devoted subjects? Or are you more into the Romanesque support columns in the throne room, which stabilize the castle and looks super kick-ass? Do you like where I wrote, Scott thinks you're super cool in this wall before the cement dried? Way, I figured it out. Your sand castle's not made of sand anymore. But if it's not made of sand anymore, can you even call it a sand castle? That's a good question, but let's not be so technical. Architecture is much more about art and less about architecture. <laughs> mm, mm, <but. laughs> Mm. I did not that read is, that properly that is, <laughs> first time around. That sounds true. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense than Shy Cap Kirks. A mystical venture. Guess for all time. <laughs> we've still made a sand castle, but we've broken the artistic boundary of using sand and totally redefined your preconceptions of what a sand castle can be. A sand castle can be concrete, it can be metal, it can even be. Oh, shit, compliant. Oh, sure, it's compliant. This sounds more like an art piece than a building now anyway, but, so it's not under our jurisdiction to judge it. Sweet. You gain three mind from the artistic insights of building a sandless sandcastle. Okay. We so are... We, see, we, we made deconstructed <laughs> oh, now, sushi, which is just... Now our, our, wait, now our <laughs> money went down, right? Are good. Yeah, it's time yeah, for a yeah. bird's yeah. monster. Magic. It makes me worry right. that the story's not going to finish. I don't know. Uh, no, we, because it'll I, break down on my turn, right? Yeah, but I thought it was. Said, uh, I thought it said there was three events. Yeah, we no, don't. Yeah. And they only give us one. No, we have. Oh, we've only, we've only had one. Yeah, yeah I think we're going to uh, need to go for three more ass. weeks. 
The thing is, in the in the camp, we can just use the cautious traveler to remove soul, so it's fine. <laughs> you think we should just extend the event for another week, the game? Of course. I guess. Of course. I, the, to I don't know. I feel if we're going to do that, we have to kick we have to kick what's her face out because we're like struggling on this line here. Like hype, money and mind is and stamina is getting low. Like, I think we already got the endings for both our dates, so it's fine if we do, do that. Yes. No, we can't we won't get the I, ending. Yeah. yeah, I think you need no, to keep no, it to get the ending. Do we? Yeah. Like it, that's guess. fine, but yeah. yeah, like I'm just saying that like we're five money is like we're gonna start having to literally be i don't know we're gonna have to like be super cautious about choices just to make sure we don't run out of money here and yeah you're, you're i don't know at a point and, where you need to look for money right now <laughs> or hype. yeah like yeah hype and hype uh, and money is just so i don't know it's just that it seems like those are things that we tend to use a lot like hype yeah. money and mind tend to be things we lose pretty frequently and so a character that's just sucking our fucking money away is not ideal <laughs> We're getting pretty good at just I mean, making for nothing. We don't need Yeah. Yeah, we don't even need magic unless we can find places that are like hemorrhaging magic but for us. But we are making but... magic right now. Oh, that's, what I'm that's saying. Our we're content. making magic. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. All right, what's the top one? I think futuristic gas station, options. transportation of the future today. Planetarium. Well, the bottom one has two options that are bad and one option that we don't know. Um, and it also seems incredibly boring. The bottom one has um, one good option. Oh, wait, wait, that's you what I meant bad to say. The bottom oh, one is... Bad we but neither, we, don't, we don't want magic and we don't yeah. want to lose money. So top one sounds more fun. Of course, it's a planetarium. Yeah. You think our car is secretly a battle robot? Maybe. No, nothing happened. I We must have fucked up. No, I can't believe we go one two... Week. We go I think they mentioned it takes One three weeks. One per week? Three, yeah, I think they mentioned the next three weeks, basically. Shit, and, maybe. And I then at the know. end, I think that is like so long. Oh, that's yes. ridiculous. There is no reason to go through with that. That's like a. Why do we have to? I don't know. That's a. Right? Do we? Because do know. we? Someone, like, someone could research it if they want to. I'm. I am running the game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna research the, the it. The value right now. is like. Y'all do the planetarium. Let's go. Ah, stars. Monster Kai so has been fascinated genius. by them for as long as society has been alive. Amazing. Amazing. There's nothing like staring at the night sky and realizing that space is massive and timeless. And you're just one speck in an uncaring universe, you little bitch. <laughs> if that gives you ennui, if that's the French. word... <laughs> Don't worry, there's plenty to do at the planetarium besides contemplate your own insignificance. For example, you could identify constellations, attend the comet shower, watch the laser show. Um, do any of these do? <laughs> well, I feel like the laser show is the least risky because I can always choose to do the least amount of impact. Which is just like one, you know. Maybe laser show is ma is hype and identify constellations is mind. But on the other hand, going to the planetarium to watch the laser show is like the most fucking boring activity at a planetarium. What, what is the think? laser show? It's where they play three dog night and they just shine <laughs> a bunch of laser beams on the ceiling. All the little kids with the three dog night, but. Eh. That's a different band That's and a different a decade. <laughs> right, oh, I'm sorry. Anyway. I can't indicate. I can't help with what I think this is because I was reading an article. <laughs> an article? <laughs> you still have yeah, time here. if you want to focus up and read the thing that you were supposed to read. <laughs> I did. So Someone what do you want to do? Someone told us by now, but the people that know are never here. But I know. I know. Is I read the article. Loaded? Has anyone said I anything? I did the research. Uh, no one has said a single thing today. They, wow. They're not in the talkative mood. They're all playing Overwatch. Uh, so I so just suddenly to go back Monster to that. Prom became the lower the low viewership game, and Overwatch became the high viewership game. I don't know when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, mean it is. We got sweaty. I don't know. It, so just to a confirm, kind it, of sweaty. It does happen over the course of three weeks, and because the plotline only starts when you have twenty 
uh, points of any uh. one of the resources, it means that usually it's by the second or third week that you can act start it. So you have to get 20 um, out of 25 and then hang out for three weeks to do the event, basically? Mm-hmm. That's, yes. that's a lot. I'm fine I, with I guess it's just fine, ending. because, like, ultimately... But this is a weird infinite playthrough where we just play two, like a, f a few weeks at a time each session, yeah. and then I we agree start with over the moment we're done anyway. It's just and, yeah, it's basic. The and, primary and, uh, thing is starting over is the same thing. The risk of just having to no, be careful can, we continuously, can but we're pretty good we at knowing what we're doing, soul. except right now where we don't know what this one does. Oh yeah, but we can spend our um, soul. Like yeah, right now, we can, we can spend down our soul. Uh, what's the most evil activity here? Probably attending the comet shower. <laughs> that is evil. I think that I agree with this. Because I yeah. feel like comet shower has the potential for us to summon a demon. Oh, I was thinking more of a baby what? shower kind of situation. Oh, like a gender reveal party. M a gender reveal I... comet shower. <laughs> but with comets. Yeah, a gender reveal. Isn't Dude, that you what I... It's pink and purple, blue, pink and blue. <laughs> I thought that's what Attend the that Identify Constellations is for. Lucky for you, there's a comet shower happening. <laughs> and then in my constellations, you get everyone to look at the night sky, and you blow up one with a flu fucking bomb or something. Or and everyone's green. like, ooh. And that's the evil version. Or red. You and your friends settle oh. in at the planetarium to enjoy a special viewing. Awesome, bro! This is so cool. I love comet showers. The shooting stars are all so pretty. This takes me back to Camp Spooky. Scott, remember that meteor shower at the end of Summer Camp? Oh yeah! You and I decided to take a break from being super invested in finding a date and watch the shower as friends. <laughs> yep, it was great. I'm glad we weren't one of those desperate motherfuckers losing sleep over finding a summer honey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're right here. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I probably didn't have to scalp you like that. What are you guys gonna wish for when the sun, when the stars start shooting? A summer hottie. <laughs> That's a good question. Hmm. What do I want to wish for? Wishing for a flask that never empties would be pretty sweet. Or maybe I could wish for a talking octopus that gives me massages. Oh, we probably have that. I was gonna wish for world peace, but a massage octopus sounds so much cooler. I can't decide now. How can he, the, the, the octopus is have the thing with the suckers? Um, that's just the extra massage. They just like that tiny little you know, bit of extra tension. I, I think wouldn't that, that, makes that be? It yeah, but octopuses are all muscle, which means that they would be able to give you the most amount of pressure onto all of your joints. Yeah, I think I've seen a movie about that. Every little sucky cup is like a little massage in and of itself. I don't know. The movie that I saw, didn't, the person receiving the massage didn't seem very pleased with the whole situation. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, well, a, which a, movie? Monocyclus is it, it like star considered? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, like, is this one of those movies with subtitles? <laughs> From the internet. Anyway. I don't know. Here I comes the first reading. shooting star. We only have one chance for a good wish. Birdsman, what should we wish for? Dang. You never know what to wish for. That's why you still have three have wishes left in your monkey's paw. Maybe you could use your wish number one to wish for clarity to know what you what to wish for. Forfeit what? the opportunity to sound cool and spread your wish on us. Spend your wish on a selfless deed. Wish Scott hadn't put his hand in the marmalade jar that was full of wasps. Well, that bottom one is what? decidedly that... soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's already and the top happened. one is a monkey's paw, work? which is not soul. I think we lose magic on the top are evil, one. right? So the monkey's paw is the thing where when you make a wish on it, it like it has like an ironic punishment that fucks you over. Yeah. So that one. We. So I'm go. assuming so the monkey paw so is that you want to know what to wish for, but no shooting stars happen. Ah uh, oh, yes, no. your monkey's paw. You have a helpful flashback to remind yourself how you acquired it. You encountered its its previous owner, a mysterious old man with seriously cursed vibes, in an abandoned subway station at 3 a.m. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this paw is unimaginably powerful, he said he as said. he gave it to you. When you nice. wish on the paw, 
you rewrite your whole reality. You basically create a splintering timeline in which your wish came true. It's all very complex and arcane. Be careful with this thing. Nobody's truly sure what the consequences of using magic like this could have. So I'm giving it to you. A monster Also, costume. I like that the sentences are the sentences are kind of badly written and it, it goes well with my accent. Yeah. Uh, yawn. However you came to visit this abandoned subway station, you definitely didn't come to learn about this boring fantasy riff on quantum physics. I hope that was Satan, and I can voice him again. <laughs> now that you think about it, will wishing for a wish-making cl clarity count as one compound wish or two wishes? Will that be, like, worse? Well, it's gonna one be way worse. to find what? out. You wish for clarity on the monkey's paw, nice. spending three magic. For a Perfect. minute, you feel like your mind is cleaving in two, but then suddenly oh. you gain three mind and know exactly what to wish for. I wish to one day open an awesome water park. It'd be the perfect place for our next big adventure. Oh yeah, Monsters Water Park. An adventure in a water Sounds park. Like a it's Saturday. actually called Birds Monsters Water Park. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I recommend getting a very That good was actually the like monster's water system. park. <laughs> you can have an adventure in a water park, though, unless you're like seven. No, this sounds like what a bad are you this... talking about? Are you this... kidding me? You're going to a water park when you come to visit. This sounds like a very There's bad like an entire... <laughs> this just sounds like okay, a very I'm bad setting for Monster Prom 4. For summer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the I, they had an entire setting at a camp. There's nothing that happens at a summer camp besides. A lot like, happens at summer sleeping. camp. People are there for a long know. time. You know what you do in a water park? I went to a summer camp. I know what park. happens at a summer camp. You went to a summer camp. I'm. Jealous. I'm saying a water park is a restrictive setting for one of these games. <laughs> no, it's no. not. A camp is just Think a school how many... outside. Oh, is that what? A that water is? park is just a school with wet water. Seats. No, it's no. not. That's all it is. There are zero yes, fish in water park. Instead of learning, you learn fun. It, you, you, you take water slides to each class. It's really efficient. <laughs> ah, it's nice. it's like nice. mnemonic tubes, but wet. Yeah. Mm. So hydraulic tubes. Shut up. That is... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. The water park? That sounds awesome, Bill. We'd finally get our own road trip bikini episode. There you go. Uh, it's called and it was really nice of you to include us in your wish. If only there was a way to ensure our wishes could come true. Coming at me with a hydraulic, with your <laughs> your blue hair and prefixes. Prefixes. <laughs> Damn. Did you mean pronouns? I'm not sure. <laughs> that's the joke. Yeah. No, that's oh, the joke. Okay. I, I hate when I forget. I hate when I forget if someone's like a junior or a senior. It's really frustrating. That's not. That's, 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 that's not what we're that's, that's, that's a postscript. That's not. It comes after. Losing my mind. That's not a postscript. That's a title. I don't it's know. A title, it's not a pre a anything. <laughs> it's a that one's like junior before the name. Yeah, they do. People just call yeah, me the junior. <laughs> like, that's yeah, the I'm name. Go to the south, and I mean the south. No, okay. No one names their kid junior. junior. That's not. That's not how that Mr. works. Choir. No one's named. <laughs> people. I think the people do name their kid junior. Yeah, junior is a name. Do. I mean, yeah. that's just rude. Honestly, do you call them junior junior? Yeah. Yes. Like what you an awful. Can. You can. You could. They could be. It could be a junior junior. So yeah. What if their last name was junior? It's to be junior junior junior. And the thing and is, they would be named junior junior junior. And and they they would they only named their kid junior junior out of spite to make them junior 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 because that made themselves junior junior senior. <laughs> senior junior. That would be the way that that it's would play dominance out if they did thing. that action. <laughs> Please, anyway. junior is my father. Call me junior junior. <laughs> Se senior junior junior senior <laughs> the the please, the please, now you're... mr junior was my dad you, you can just, just call me junior you just have a full name palindrome <laughs> Oof, that's not palindrome well, is it it's uh, the no, word call me repeat, race car please. junior or <laughs> junior oh, yeah. race car junior <laughs> i anyway. can't even follow these sentences anymore 
No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I lost the plot a while back, to be honest. That would be really Sounds like nice. a monster prom choice. Damn. Oh, well. It did a little. Yeah. We can't have everything. When do I get to write for these games? You didn't Magic read your line, up. Keith. There was a line? Wait, yeah. how do we lose? We, how do, oh, we lost money because of her. R of E. I had a line? I think so. It's fine. I turned the, the zombie. No, right? I'm not the zombie. Line. I was the zombie. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, bird, bird read it. No, there we go. All yeah, right, so did. I guess we're gonna suck our soul down a little bit. Uh, where are you going, Andrew? So we could, you can either do it in the car, or you can do it oh, at the noodle stand. Uh, we should all go to the car. I think. Uh, I guess I'll do. What? Why would we all go to the car? What? If we're trying to like speed run, not effect. having soul again. Yeah, because we oh are God. still gonna have to have. Two weeks ahead of us. Yeah, it's not like that three of us should go to the car. I think we we can choose not to do the ending. Well, have I finished the RV I'm, dialogues yet? I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go all to the, the dating stuff stand. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we definitely okay. do. Okay. Colonel, I'm going to the car. I'm concerned that I didn't do the rest of the RV things, and I might fuck this up. So I'm a little worried about doing that. It's your call. What? We are good on this side, I think. I legitimately don't remember, because we're only on week three, right? Yeah, but you. Uh, this is the time we're ending before. Because it takes one endings. less week to I do mean, the Hitchhikers than it does the date, and I'm pretty sure I finished Scott. You yeah. definitely finished Scott. Yeah, this is correct. I've asked uh, chat, we... but literally nobody's here. Yeah, no, no, no we're no, correct. <laughs> nobody's watching <You> today. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching the... the the, the video game awards. Ew. That was yesterday. That is very yeah. you. Is it yesterday? I thought it was today. It yeah, was it was yesterday. yesterday. Mm. All right. You. Um, God damn it. The uh, fact you don't know anything that happened from the video game awards tells you a lot about how good the video game awards were. <laughs> well, I was just me? more like oh, that some, they made the sequel to that game. Fun. Huh? 80s? Yeah. That makes me sad. Oh, 82 yeah. got announced. Some I don't guy want, went I don't want that Bill developer Clinton. to ever make sequels. So I don't like that there's a Hades 2. Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's very concerning that, that like they immediately made a Hades 2. And I was like, oh. Well, Hades <laughs> is like astronomically more successful than their other games. But I'm sad because they made Pyre, which is one of my favorite games. And a Pyre 2 would be like, Pyre 2. Good. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to just go to the bus stop. Because I don't Thank want to you. lose or... Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Taking public transit, what is this? Howdy doodly. Welcome to Noodle's Swap Shop. Howdy doodly. I've got all sorts of cookie crap to trade you. If you've got anything worth trading me. Oh, or his ass. Mm. Alright, the sequel oh, to an erotic uh, fanfic right about dragons. Postcard yeah, from your so mom. So choose the soul t-shirt? went to heaven and all I got was this dumb shirt. Oh, we're really like that. Mm -hmm. And then she's Horse the costume, money. but only stonks. Stonks. Uh, I'm okay. Bless you. Come on, turtles. Enjoy <laughs> your wow, purchase. And remember the first rule of Shop Club no refund. Or, uh, no refund. Oh, no, it's actually never wear underwear on Wednesdays, but uh, that's a good rule, too. Oh, he's a uh, his face. <laughs> Cautious, Colonel. cautious, cautious, cautious. Boop boop. Ugh, I need my food. Yeah. Nice. Boop boop. Nice. Ugh, so many choices. What do you want uh, to do to RV? Talk, talk to her. Why'd you phrase it so weird? <laughs> <laughs> talk about the food you truck get or rid Slayers. Of uh, let's talk about Slayers. Slayers? Sure. What do you want to know about it? What's the whole deal? I mean, the most I know is that you casually break into Spooky Academy to try to murder students. <laughs> yes. Why? Why, though? Ugh. We Slayers fight monsters. It's our thing. Also, Damien and Liam are dumb. Total murder material. Damien Why do you fight monsters? Dumb. Aren't you, like, half monster at least? <laughs> you aren't wrong. There are legit reasons behind the Slayer's Crusade, but I guess over the centuries, the whole thing ended up being oversimplified to just kill monsters. 
The truth is that our, our lineage has always been part of the most important war. We're the spear of the mortal kind. There are ancient entities that prey on our reality. Our lineage intertwines with the centuries-long journey to end the evil these entities produce and to find a way to end them once and for all. Ooh. Sounds intense. Arabi, the slayer. It is fucking intense. I dream of being not just a slayer, but the slayer. The legendary hero that manages to pierce the heart of an old deity for the first time. There's more than one, but it takes just one. That'll be enough for mortal kind to see they can bleed. So, how do you go from that to casually trying to murder students at our school? Hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. You see, most of our slayers have human blood. The human realm is the safest place away from the ancient entities. Other realms are infected by the corrupting power of the old deities. Damien is from hell, which might be the most corrupted realm. And Liam commanded armies from the dark side, which was created by the old deities as a passage to invade the monster realm. It took me some time, but I know, but I now know they're not pawns playing for the other side. Not anymore, at least. Ugh, I wish there was friendly fire. I may still <laughs> murder them just because they have such stupid faces. We'll see. Yikes. Yikes, RV. You wanted to know? What can I say? I'm a straight shooter. Quite literally. You keep talking about the Slayers for the rest of the night. There's a lot to them, and it feels good to get to know Arvi better. Alright, so, so I guess we did it. Okay. So, fun fact. What? The reason why I was I was slow pressing A that whole thing because I was trying to look up the last episode on my phone at the same time. <laughs> uh, I had the specific memory flash of like, hang on a minute, I remember having a choice of Liam or RV, and I chose RV to make Bird happy, which means I was dating RV. Oh, I knew it was something. which I think I think <laughs> Colonel was dating Scott or something. Yeah. Oh, it might have been. Yeah. So I, th I think I might have already unlocked RV's ending, but I'm not sure. It's mm -hmm. really hard okay, to look at. Okay, but we still have to keep her around then. Yeah, 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 it's very hard to look at a specific part of an hour-long episode via fucking scrabbling with your finger. <laughs> on your phone? If anyone right. else uh, YouTube take, lets okay, you. So if, if anyone so else on could the look YouTube for app, me you can on, their f on their computer, it'd be much easier. 